Hi. Hello. How are you? You want to come be in the video? Okay, bye. Hey guys, so last week was Thanksgiving and I know but for a Thanksgiving, a lot of people post things about what they're thankful for and they get all deep and everything and, um, ooh, and right, ooh, what's on your face? Okay. And they write down, like, you know, deep thoughts of why they're thankful for such and such and blah, 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 and they write, like, really long paragraphs. Um, and for me, for me, I just did, um, and I just wrote down a list of all the things that I'm thankful for, and I just listed them off and said a couple things about it. Um, hi. And so I used to be able to, like, get real deep about things, but I just thought that I would come and, um, like, I know it's not mandatory to write down long paragraphs and get real, you know, into what you're thankful for. I just wanted to come and share a few things with you about why I didn't do that this year. Um, and I actually wrote it all down. And I'm going to be reading off of it so uh, that way I don't miss anything because I know I'm like really bad at that. <laughs> so excuse me if I'm like reading because I am reading. <laughs> Just want to make sure I get the whole point across. Come on. Just stay put. Come on. <laughs> Just stay put. So honestly, what I had recorded just wasn't working out too well, so uh, I'm just gonna try again. Hopefully this will look better. <laughs> so uh, I am at a time in my life when everything around me just seems really, really dark. And I'm having a really hard time trying to believe in things. Like I just, I don't want to believe in anything right now. And everything's just getting like really, really hard and it's been getting a lot worse day after day. And I do have really good days. I have a lot of days where things seem a lot brighter and I'm feeling better, but they just don't last long and it's just, it's not every day. Cause I've been alive for 21 years and I know you're all gonna say, you're still young, you still have time, but you don't know what it's like for me, okay? You don't know what it's like. And there's a song by Caitlin Tarver that will tell you all about it. It's called You Don't Know. Go listen to it. It's actually a really good song. Um, but yeah, I'm 21 and I still live with my parents and I'm still very, very single, still haven't gone on my first date yet. So I'm just, that is probably like the hardest thing in my life right now is that part of my life. <laughs> Cause it's just really hard. Like I just feel completely alone and unloved and it's just getting like really, really hard. And nothing in my life has really changed dramatically. And I'm just like really, really sick and tired of just every day being the same exact thing over and over again. And I'm so, so sick and tired of it. So I guess what I'm getting at here is that it is really hard for me to feel really deeply grateful for things like like nothing's really happened where i would 
you know, learn to be thankful for something so small, you know? Um, something like the moon and the stars. I mean, like, yeah, I love the moon and stars. I'm very thankful for what they are and their beauty um, and what they mean to me. But, I mean, there's really nothing there because everything in my life has lost its meaning because I've become so numb that I just don't feel any of that anymore. But besides all of my inner battles, a lot of great things have happened this year. I've had a lot of fun times with friends, old ones and new ones, and frankly, this year has been amazing. It's just everything that's going on inside of me that has just been taking a toll on me, and it's just not been going well, but that's all just because of what's inside of me. But I've had a lot of great times this year with a bunch of people. <laughs> um, and my gram passed away last month in October. Um, and for her, I really am truly grateful for her. Like To call her my great-grandmother is a real blessing because she was such a magnificent, incredible woman and a beautiful soul and she was known as the bird lady, if that tells you anything. She is a legend in our state, known as the bird lady. And so I'm really thankful to call her my grandmother. I'm thankful to have had her in my life and to grow up knowing her and all the fun experiences that I've had um, with her and my family. You'll probably, probably tell that I'm actually kind of getting a little bit better. So I don't want people to, you know, think that I'm doing this all for attention or for pity or anything like that. My goal is to actually, you know, share my experiences with mental health, depression, anxiety, and all these, these feelings and thoughts. Um, and just to help people better understand people that go through these things and um, also to let people know that they're not the only ones and uh, uh, most importantly to uh, beat the stigma around this topic. So what I want to be doing is uh, um, just to be sharing my thoughts and experiences on the subject and have you guys follow along as I continuously grow and learn in my own um, challenges in life and um, so I'm just gonna be like very very open on this channel to you guys and um, you know share how I'm feeling and um, not every video is going to be, you know, um, it's not all going to be, like, happy, <laughs> I guess. It's not all going to be happy. It's going to be a lot of me talking about how I'm feeling and, um, you know, what, what I go through or what people go through. But another thing that I do want to do with this is also to inspire people because I do want to have some videos where um, where like I share what I learn and I show people what I've been through and you know how I did it and and everything and um, I just want to be able to help people and inspire them to keep going, keep moving forward, and just p keep pushing themselves. And so that's another reason why I want to do this. And so, um, that being said, I actually wanted to share with you what I have learned so far in this particular growing process. You are your own person. 
Don't let anyone or anything hold you back from going where you want to go. Wait. You are your own person. Don't let anyone or anything hold you back from where you want to go. And don't be afraid to start over and recreate yourself. It's never too late to become what you might have been. Set new goals, find your drive, and just live your life and just focus on that and use it to distract your mind from your current situation. Some days will be harder than others, but that will never change. Just keep moving forward and don't give up. Take some time to focus on yourself and take care of yourself. And take the time reaching for your goals. Nothing is going to change overnight or in a week or maybe even in a month. And maybe even in that time, you will make new goals. Just keep moving forward and put your trust in God. And then step by step, things will start happening and everything will fall into place. And finally, find the time to serve others. Even if you're at the point where you've given up and you don't want to believe in anything anymore, like where I am right now, always believe in God and just hold on. Continue the video! That is all I have to say. And I hope that didn't look really, really choppy because I suck. So yeah, I hope you guys had a wonderful Thanksgiving. Once again, let me know what you guys are thankful for in the comments below and, you know, blah, 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 blah. Um, yeah. <laughs> and subscribe for more videos on the topic of mental health. <laughs> so stay real and have a super sparkly day. Bye!